definition of metallic bonding is the electrostatic attraction between the positively charged metal ions and the delocalized electrons. If you look at the diagram, it has this sort of lattice structure, like ionic bonding, but unlike ionic bonding, they are just positive ions and we have electrons as an important part of this structure. The term delocalized was used to describe these electrons and that just means that they are free to move around. And when electrons are free to move, they can carry charge. So this explains why metals can conduct electricity. We're now going to talk about the reactions of metals because they can be grouped by what they can react with. These groups will be metals that react with water, with an acid and with oxygen. The metals that can react with water are potassium, sodium, lithium, calcium and magnesium. Here's an example and you can see that when a metal reacts with water it produces a metal hydroxide and hydrogen. These metals that react with water don't all react at the same rate so we can start to order them by the reactivity. Because potassium reacts most vigorously with water it goes first and then the list continues down. The metals that react with an acid are the above metals and aluminium, zinc, iron, tin and lead. The name metals here don't react with water but can react with dilute acid so this means they have a lower reactivity than the metals in this first box. From this example with zinc you can see that when a metal reacts with an acid it produces a salt and hydrogen. The metals that react with oxygen are the above and copper so this means that all of the metals so far can react with oxygen but copper only reacts with oxygen. When copper or any other metal reacts with oxygen it produces a metal oxide and these metals that I haven't mentioned yet don't even react with oxygen.